Guys, if what I'm reading is true, anybody who still defends this motherfucker... Dude. Blank tested positive for cocaine at a level of over 5,000 with a cutoff of 500. If this document from Candy, Ohio County is correct, one of your fucking children's hair follicle tests, it says here was positive. Are you worried that people want to see you this way? Oh, make sure I make a sexy pose. Hey, live in nanny. One of the kids had fucking coke in their hair follicle test. God damn it. Have some fucking shame. Uh oh. No fucking way. This is from Null. Uh, I isn't Null Josh uh, on Kiwi Farm. Wait, what? I caught... but we're not gonna read this. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna make me fucking furious if this is true. I can't even joke about this one if it's true. <laughs> it's a PDF file. After being placed out of the house, the children were subject to hair follicle testing. Guys, if what I'm reading is true, anybody who still defends this motherfucker, I'm just going through the list of things I want to say in my head, but I can't say on YouTube. Nick, don't stream tonight. Yeah, or fucking do. Uh, you know. Yeah, whatever. Or fucking do. Go on and talk about this, bud. Case type, chips. That's a child protective services thing. In the matter of the welfare of the children of Kayla and Nick Riccata. I'm hyperventilating a little. I'm so fucking angry. Alicia Sweep. Yes, that's the woman I talked to at Child Protective Services. They had to talk to all of us. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Findings of fact, conclusions of law and order following a joint emergency protective care hearing and admit deny hearing. They're fucked. Subject matter. Those are the kids. Yep, that's their name, but we're not going to read them on the air. Dude. I don't know how many. This is 11 pages. <sighs> okay, this is just what the, else is the fact there, finding. Representation, ex parte, hold an order hearing. Got to be a part. Facts that warranted removal from the children. Thing. An emergency protective care hearing was scheduled to be held on May 28th of 2024. At that time, the parents motioned to continue the hearing for good cause. The court found good cause to continue the hearing to protect the rights of the parties. All witnesses were placed under oath to provide testimony. Exhibit one, drug testing of the parents. Exhibit two, drug testing of the children. Upon executing the search warrant, we know about this. After being placed out of the home, the children were subject to hair follicle drug testing. All of the children, except for blank, tested negative. Blank tested positive for cocaine at a level of over 5,000 with a cutoff of 500. I don't know what that means. I don't know, know what that all means, all but the fact that there that was any has... fucking anything in there. A child should not be testing positive for fucking. You know what probably fucking happened? You know what's fucking disgusting? One of the parents probably did one of these and then kissed a fucking kid on the head or something like that. Fucking pigs. Fucking pigs every last cock-sucking one of you. All three of you. She was allowed into the home, but she was not allowed access to the parent. Oh, so the chips person went to the house, but she was, yep. she was allowed into the home, but she was not allowed access to the parent's bedroom. Weird. 
the GAL in, is in agreement that it is in the best interest of the children to remain in out-of-home placement at this time. The children are in surroundings or conditions that endanger the children's health, safety, or welfare, requiring responsibility for the children. Fucking stream tonight, you chicken shit. You fucking chicken shit. Fucking stream. If this document from Candy, Ohio County is correct, one of your fucking children's hair follicle test, it says here was positive. You say one fucking word about being a father. You say one fucking word about being a man. April, you say one fucking thing about caring for those kids. April, uh, Kaylee, you say one fucking thing about me being a mom. Don't you fucking dare. I'm not saying I did right. I didn't. But I admitted it and I left. So I couldn't do any damage. And the only damage I did was not saying something. <sighs> this is infuriating. To whoever said check Kiwi Farms, thank you. These fucking monsters. These fucking goddamn monsters. <laughs> By the way, that's not my real ex-wife. <laughs> my ex-wife and I Clearly. are very cool. <laughs> my my wife and I are fine. I'd been out of this fucking house for six or seven weeks when this happened. Jules LaRue with two yeah. bucks says, did you feed wheelchair Mikey to this bald fatty? I, Jesus. No, his name's Johnny, first of all. I'm fucking mad. I could use some jokes. I, I don't have time to read this whole thing on the air, but we can talk about this tomorrow. We can fucking talk about this tomorrow. We can fucking talk about it. And if you go watch that piece of shit stream on YouTube or Rumble tonight, you fucking ask him nothing but this. Ask him nothing but this fucking thing. The fucking chips hearing where there was a goddamn fucking follicle test. And one of the kids didn't test negative. And then the chips people, you had uh, three or four days since you got released from jail. The chips people come over and you still go, you can't come into our bedroom. God, I hate these people. I really did. I've, I've done such, I've been on such a journey with my feelings about these individuals. Mm -hmm. Can we bring up fucking April's Twitter picture again? Because <laughs> now I'm really fucking mad at that picture. Are you worried that people want to see you this way? Oh, make sure I make a sexy pose. Hey, live in nanny. One of the kids had fucking coke in their hair follicle test. God damn it. Have some fucking shame. Oh, it's my fault, right? That your guys' life is all fucked up. Take some fucking responsibility for once. I'm ashamed that I was ever associated with any of you. A sh God damn it. Oh, aren't I fucking sexy? How's my harlot pose? One of the kids you say that you love, that you were supposed to take care of, had a fucking positive cocaine hair follicle test. When the fuck do you start taking responsibility for yourself? Any of you. And Nick... the worst fucking human being that I've ever personally known in my life. You, your soul should burn in the lake of fire for this one. There's no saving your soul. You can make whatever excuses you want. And you will. And Ethan Van Skyver, fuck you, buddy. Suck a fucking dick. Star Wars girl, please, please, Star Wars girl, mm. go ahead and defend it. Tell me again what a piece of shit I am. I was gone for six weeks by this time. We tune TOC with five bucks as a level of 5,000 picogram is classified as medium use daily weekends. Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs>
if Candy Ohio County's listening, and I know they are, in my oh, opinion, yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. In my opinion, if you ever give these people their children back, you are committing a fucking cardinal sin, and may God have mercy on your soul. If I don't see all three of these motherfuckers in rehab for a fucking year being clean, and you give them their fucking kids back. You might as well just put some kind of chip in the kid's brain that fucks them up for the rest of their life if you're going to do that. Keep them away from these fucking savages. Fucking stream tonight. Fucking stream tonight. And any of you who are watching this right now, if he fucking streams tonight, you go to that stream and you ask him nothing but this.